Don't look directly at it. You'll burn your retina. Okay, I've made an executive decision. to see you. Welcome to Life on the Moose. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Let's finish up the siding in this episode. That's what I have going on right here. We're going to create a board and batten look. This is the same material that I've used in the past on the barn and on the woodshed and actually on the main cabin too. It's basically it's plywood, but the skin is more of a solid rough sawn veneer. It looks better than regular plywood. I think it holds up better than regular plywood. The rough sawn texture really takes the stain well. I'm really happy about that. Two notes on changing directions on siding. One, if I would have known from the very get go that I was gonna run out, I could have just put this directly on the wall on the studs and that would have been fine instead of the OSB. So yeah, I'm going to kind of double up on the gable ends. That's the price I pay for winging it. <laughs> I don't have any of this written down as far as long-term plans. This is how I'm going to build the cabin. This is what I'm going to use. It's kind of budget dependent. It's time dependent, energy dependent, <laughs> all of that. So that's one thing. The other thing is window trim. I specifically trimmed out these windows for the lap siding, which is over an inch thick on the bottoms. This is only about a half an inch thick, so it's not exactly what I would have used for window trim. I can get by. I just might have to put a, another little piece of window trim around the existing window trim, but that's all right. We only have two windows to deal with over here, and then that one on this side, I didn't put any trim on it, and so that one I'll trim out as I normally would with sheet goods, with, with plywood. Well, let's get rolling on this. Boy, I would really like to get this exterior wrapped up in this episode. Wouldn't it be nice to just say, we're done with the outside. Let's move inside, put the heat on, put some tunes on, and relax. <laughs> okay, maybe not relax. So for the battens, more fence boards. Yes, I got more cedar fence board for the battens. One by two cedar, almost three times as much money as ripping a six inch fence board into three pieces. Way more economical. I, I like it. I like working with it. I've done it in the past. Works out well. Well, enough of me. How are you doing? Are you good? You're back feeling better? Good. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate it. Let's get to work.
Okay, we're making headway. You probably saw that I flashed the window like I did the other ones. And then I also added the Z flashing above this layer of plywood. So I have to get a little bit more of that Z flashing. And you can see right there, I'm missing about this much. And then while I'm back on Red Moose Ranch, I'm going to cut those fence boards. I'm gonna rip them into three pieces. So roughly inch and three quarters each one. That'll be perfect for my battens. All right, I'm gonna get going on that so we can get going on this. Good morning. Did you get enough sleep last night? I'm not sure I did. <laughs> I got up this morning about 4.30. It was one of those mornings where I knew I had a lot of work to do today. And I was just kind of excited to get going. So I got out of bed. 6.30 right now. So I had my coffee. Hopefully you had your coffee and you're good to go. So speaking of coffee, probably the number one moose merch item you mentioned was coffee mugs. We're going to do it. Okay, let's cut these. Got my fence boards here, cedar fence boards. Man, that light is, woo! Here, let me show you something. My sister gave me this light. She saw an earlier video when I was working in the barn at night and she saw how dim it was. My goodness, she gave me this light. Let me show you in comparison how bright this thing is. So there's the standard light bulbs and there's the one my sister gave me. Don't look directly at it. You'll burn your retina. <laughs> okay, let's get ripping. all together. Okay, I'm gonna load this in the truck. Then I'm gonna go get breakfast. I'm gonna have a ham and cheese breakfast burrito. <laughs> that sounds good. I'm hungry. Doesn't it just make you feel good to accomplish something before breakfast? Nine twenty. I have this pipe dream. <laughs> I have this goal of getting this cabin exterior done today. Finished, no more, completely finished. I mean, as in stained, caulked, everything. It was 32 degrees when I pulled up about 20 minutes ago and it's supposed to be a high of 37. Who knows? I'm not counting on any of that. The stain that I have says it's good to 35 degrees. I figure if they say it's good to 35, it's probably good to freezing or close to it. So, and it's definitely above freezing now already. So, okay, it's slick. The ground is really slick. So I gotta be careful. I really hope I don't fall on my behind on video. Okay, it all begins with that little piece of flashing up there. I'm gonna put that up first and then I'm gonna keep going up. Let's get to work.
Okay, I've made an executive decision. You saw I started on the battens. I figured while the ladder is here, why not do as much as we can without moving it around? Because that's what takes a lot of time is why circle the wagon three times while it's here? We're just going to finish it. In fact, I have the stain out. Stain's ready to go. Yeah, it's sitting in the snow. I know it looks kind of counterintuitive, <laughs> but it'll be fine. So the snow is compacting. We're, I know we're well above freezing. So I had a couple questions on the caulk when, in a couple episodes ago when it was really cold. It was like 27 degrees. It firmed up nicely. I just checked it right now. Couldn't even get a fingernail through it. So I think it's going to be more than fine. I had all of the stain and all of the caulk on or near a heater for the last several hours. And it's probably 70 degrees. So that has to help, right? Well, I'm gonna get up there and stain that section and work my way down. Isn't this fun? 10.30. <laughs> okay, you think we're gonna make it? You think we're gonna finish this exterior, this episode? Place your bets below. No, I'm kidding, this is not a gambling channel. Okay, coming along. Looks great, doesn't it? I had several people ask me what it was, so I'll hold this up so you can see it. No, they're not sponsoring me. I'm not getting paid for it. I had to pay real money for this stuff, as I have mentioned before. Right there, down to 35 degrees. I think we're good to go. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. I have the pieces cut for the other side, and then I gotta measure the middle and get that figured out up top. All right, let's keep going. Okay, check that out. We're getting close. Just have that little area around the window to go. And this side's wrapped up. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat. What I'm gonna do is take the top of the window and I'm gonna go straight across and cut one piece there and then cut another piece U-shaped. I just wanna make it a little bit easier on myself. So I got that measured up. 
the top piece anyway. So I just have to cut it and we'll keep going. Oh, time, 12.39. I was gonna stop for lunch, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna barrel through, see if we can get this wrapped up. <laughs> Good news and bad news. The good news is we're finished with this side. The bad news is it's 2.06. That took a little bit longer up there than I was hoping. So let's just get moving on the other end. See if we can finish that in two hours. I don't know, it's gonna be close. First thing I have to do is put flashing up there. And I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna tackle the, the cuts and whatnot around the window, but I'll figure it out. Okay, let's get back to work. See if we can finish this thing. Okay, I got that piece around the window cut. 
we'll see how it's gonna go because the ladder is pretty far away from the building. So I gotta reach way over there in order to in order to reach the wall. Hope this works one way or another. Actually, if you could grab one end and I'll grab the other end and then we'll just, okay, I'll get it. You just stay right there. It's safer that way. Okay, now I'm just gonna level it up and nail it in. Okay, got those on and it's dark. It's 423. Hopefully you can see this okay. It's, hopefully it's not too grainy. I really wanted to get that on before tonight's over with. For me, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna hop up there, put those battens on, stain it, and it'll be good to go. I did not finish it today. Oh well, do what we gotta do, right? Okay, thanks for hanging in with me. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go back and shower and eat and sleep and maybe do a little editing. And then I'm gonna get up and then I'm gonna eat again. And <laughs> okay, stay right there. I'll be back in a sec. Well, good morning. We're back at it. Another day, a big day. I just realized not only are we gonna get this exterior done in this episode this is also the last video of the year sometimes i make these videos and they're three days before they're released and sometimes it's three weeks and i think this is the last video of 2023 look at that it's appropriate because we're going to wrap up this exterior today first thing i'm going to do is wrap that window and then get the battens going and then stain it and we're good to go i checked on the stain that i put on yesterday it's barely tacky. It's not wiping off on my fingers or anything. I think it's gonna be just fine. Okay, we got some blue sky up there. That's a good thing. Let's get this wrapped up.
Okay, one more task left. We're gonna stain that thing. Are you giddy with anticipation on wrapping up this whole exterior by the end of the year? I thought so. Speaking of end of the year, question, do you make New Year's resolutions? Is that something that I don't do it, they don't come true, or are you more on the camp? I make a resolution and I stick to it. Where are you at in that? Just curious. One resolution I have for this year is to get this exterior done in this cabin. <laughs> so let's get to work. <laughs> that's it man am i happy that's finished look at that so if i had a bottle of champagne with me and it wasn't 11 25 in the morning i would toast to having this finished i would cheers you for a happy new year for watching me do this i appreciate it i really do so that wraps up 2023 it wraps up the exterior of this cabin but i'm happy with it let me know what you think I even had a chance to go around with the stain and take care of a lot of those caulking marks and whatnot. So those are disappearing as we speak. Okay, imaginary glass of champagne. Cheers to you. Thank you. Cheers to 2024. I hope it's better than anything you've imagined. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Be safe out there. We'll see you next year.